this is so this was um, Denver Chess Club Part Two. They have a they have a different tournament on Thursdays as well. It's the same format though. Um, I played on board one this time because there weren't as many people, so I was in the bottom half. I mean, there weren't as many masters. No, I pl I played the line perfectly. Um, I, I'll I'll, I'll, get, I'll get to it. Okay. I'm exaggerating, but after the game, I I, I, took, I was yelling, "Gary, you screwed me again!" I was really mad. I assumed I did something wrong. But no. Um. Knight Orf, Knight Orf, Knight Orf. He plays Bishop G5, Knight Orf. I play E6, F4, Bishop B7, Queen F3, Queen C7, Castle, Knight B to D7, G4, H6, takes, takes, H4, and now I play Knight B6, which is the move Giri recommends. It's not the normal move. Um, it's only, you know, it's recently become popular because of this, but... So I, I got sort of unlucky. People have been playing against this against him in Blitz a lot lately, apparently, so he kind of has, he's kind of figured out how to play against it. I've never played this over the board. Um, this is still theory. I take, and I play queen c5, and now I'm out of theory, that's all I knew. Uh, I, I remember the rook being, the rook, the move being rook d2, which is the move. He played rook d1, which is kind of slightly inferior. Um, yeah, and, and, okay, I play bishop d7, that's kind of obvious. He plays bishop d3, and I castle. Everything's fine so far. And then he plays queen e2, and it's just sort of a nothing move. Um, I, I thought it was kind of a bad move, if I'm being honest, because, I don't know, like, it, it just takes squares away from his pieces, and it's like, what are, what are you, what is this the idea? Like, was, I just decided to play king b8, just, just, just totally fine. And now he plays rook h to g1. And when I first saw this move, I thought it was bad, because he's stepping away from this, this file. But the more I looked at it, the more annoying it became. And his, you know, his idea is if I take, he's gonna take this way. And this looks like it would be a miserable position for me. That's that's what I thought anyway. Um, but I, I, I don't I don't want to go into this. This looks this looks this looks awful. So okay, I can't really take. If I'm not taking, what am I doing? I spent a long time here because yeah, I, I got a dead equal position out of the opening with black. That's great. How do I play this position? It it's not. It's my fault for not looking at games in this and like familiarizing myself with plans and it's my fault. I was just joking. But um yeah, like I've just like found myself in this position and it's just like equal but I don't have a plan. I don't know what his plan is and I just like was kind of afraid of pushing pretty much any pawn I was afraid of pushing. Um Cause that just never works out well for me against masters when I when I push a pawn. I don't know why, it just always sucks. So I decided to play knight a4. My reasoning was, I don't know what the fuck's happening, I want to trade pieces. That was it. Um, a pair, Josh told me this, g6 is what I should play. And I wanted to play g6, but I was just so scared of pushing any pawn, because I thought that if I pushed a pawn then he's gonna like push his pawns at me in some way that I didn't- like I just felt like I, I didn't understand what was going on just didn't have the, the tools to play this position. And yeah, my instinct told me to play g6, but I was just so terrified of pushing any of my pawns. Um, uh, g6 is good here. He's not gonna take that, but... Oh, also, I just want to point out, like, this tactic that's not really- that doesn't really exist. Um, well, I'm just- I just want to point it out, just because I thought it was cool. If he- he can't- well, here he could. Okay, after queen e2, though. He can't take this way because of this. Anyway, it doesn't matter, I just thought it was cool. But yeah, like, I don't know what to do here. I just felt like this was something he understood a lot better than I did, and I was just really afraid of, of overextending in some way. So I just wanted to trade the pieces, and he takes. It's still completely equal. It plays rook g5. Uh, you know. The thing is, I didn't really do anything wrong until very late. I played queen g6, I thought it makes sense to keep an eye on this square, on this diagonal. This square could be important. Um, it was- if he doesn't do this, it's like- it might be like pretty bad for him. I'm gonna double the rooks, and if I get this in, then he just loses to this, or something like that. So this is a good move order. Um, and he pushes pawn. I double rooks. And then he plays e5. I thought for a long time here too. I just didn't know what to do. I don't think the, the like the computer best move is something anyone would ever play. But oh yeah, okay. So d5 I thought didn't look that great because of f5. I thought this was his idea. So I didn't want to do that. And I don't know, I just felt like I don't I don't really know. I don't I thought he would take, I guess. Or Queen G7. I just couldn't evaluate this position. I just didn't know what was happening. It's equal still. But I just couldn't evaluate it, and I just- I don't know. I have to look at games, it's just what I have to do. Okay, I blundered. Right, okay. 
It's not a blunder, it's just it's dubious. Um, f6 is bad because I'm allowing him to put his bishop on this square, which I didn't realize was the thing. I thought I was going to take this way, or not that way, this way, and this would be fine, but I think he can just go here, which I didn't really consider. But uh, he didn't do that, he just took, <laughs> it's still equal. Um, yeah, and he plays queen e6, and this moves really annoying everywhere. It's still completely equal. I mean, this, I can't, I can't even really try anything like this, because this isn't going to work. I mean, I just have to go back, and then he takes a pawn. So, I think rook e8 is, is, uh, forest. I guess king a7 is also. Was Tristan not a mod? Is that not Tristan? Hello? Alright, I played rook e8. Okay, I'm just confused. <laughs> I'm confused again. I was confused this entire game. I thought this would be, like, really good. Oh, we could just go back. I guess I'm just getting up a pawn. Okay, I mean, still, I don't have to do. We just play rook h1, it's good. Well, anyway, I thought I thought taking would, would be not good. Um, I w I'm just confused this entire game. I, I, like, I feel like I can't even really articulate what's going on because I just have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I played rook g8, and I don't really have a choice. I take the king of seven. And I've managed to not lose a pawn, um, but this is a lot tougher for me to play than him. I thought he was going to play queen g3. He said that looked too passive. Uh, he played queen g1 which confused the fuck out of me. Now, chat. Here is the critical point in the game. And I was- I was right. I- after the game I was like, I think my mistake was on this move. The, like, the masters weren't even sure, but I, uh... Do you trade queens here? Yeah, the, the only other option is rook c5 or take on g1. Or just play something else and allow him to take on g6. Do you- do you trade queens or not? Do not trade queens. Why not, Josh? This is equal. Here, I'll make him a VIP. I don't even remember what he did to get unmodded. <laughs> Two reasons, f6 and d6. Okay, so Josh would have lost this game too. You're supposed to trade queens here and it's equal. Unless he's messing with me and he's like making fun of me because it's so obvious that you shouldn't, shouldn't take there that it would be ridiculous of him to even suggest it. I don't know. But yeah, I, I thought for a long time here and I was just confused. I had no idea what was happening, and I played rook c5, which is a mistake. But yeah, like, I, I thought taking this would just, like, be really hard to defend. I thought I would lose this for sure, because he's just gonna go here at some point, you know? How did I make- I said- I said, it's a critical position. How did I make it sound like it was wrong? Where did you buy that? I didn't buy it. I, Jennifer Shahadi gave it to me. Wear title. What? So, okay, this would play out like this. I should just immediately trade, which- I don't think I even saw that move, to be honest. For so In my head, I was like, why would I do that? Because I thought I had- I don't think I realized I could take this way. This looks a lot, a lot easier to defend. I don't think I considered this move. I feel like if you don't play that move, you are not- you can play this too, apparently. I- the, I would lose this. I would lose this. I don't- uh, <laughs> it says it's equal, but I, we all know I would lose this. Um, I'll have to look at that endgame or like just play it against a computer or something for fun, but yeah, I played rook c5. Now what does white play here to be plus one and a half? The annoying part is he didn't even play it the first time. <laughs> I, I had like no time here anyway at this point. Started blundering a bunch. Yeah, queen d4. I missed this idea. And this idea doesn't work because this is defended. But is that he played king b1? Um, I don't know. It's equal again if I play rook d5, trade the queens, and then trade the bishops. But I didn't see it the first time, so why would I see it now? Um, I thought I was clever. <laughs> I thought I had done something. I played king b8. Because so it's like, oh, but now he, now when he goes to g, I could pull my rook there, and it's fine. It's not fine. Um, yeah, and then I spent like the remainder of my, my, uh, my time here and I can't I don't have a move I'm just losing and um so here I saw this funny idea that I just like okay I'm losing anyway I, just, I play queen c6 which allows this but this is the idea that I saw which almost works this almost works if he plays anything but the best move or you could even go here I guess but you could just take but I, I mean I'm losing I don't have a move I, I don't I don't really have a move here it's just over so there we go I tried so hard in this game, I, I just didn't, I just didn't understand anything.